Hi, my name is Oyin Lola. I'm 21, based in Houston, Texas, and this is Financial Audit. What do you do for a living in Houston, Texas? Um, I do multiple things. Right now, I have a remote job. I have an online Etsy store, and I am pursuing acting. So. Okay. Well, let's go through those one by one. What is this remote job? It's a customer service rep for a benefits company. And how much do you make? About like 2100 monthly. Monthly, post-taxes, after-taxes, so that's what you get in your account? Okay, post-taxes, maybe like 1900 Okay. No, no, so okay, so you make 2100 bucks a month before taxes. Actually, hold on, let me do the math. It's like $25,000 a year is what you're making? Okay. No, 2100 is after taxes, and then before taxes, it's like 2800 2900 You said 2100 before taxes? And 2800 after taxes? Yeah, because usually the two... Wait that's, wait, that's not how math works. The two... the Like, because I get paid semi-monthly. Yeah. So each check is about like 1100 1200 You know what? I have your checking account. Okay. <laughs> I see payroll thousand five hundred there. Okay. Then at the end, I see another payroll of a thousand. Is it hourly? Yeah. Oh, okay. What's your hourly rate? How about that? Okay, eighteen an hour. Eighteen an hour. How many hours a week do you work? Forty. Four. Okay. There we go. So. Okay. Yeah, that that's much better. So eighteen times forty, seven hundred twenty, times fifty two weeks a year. If you work 40 hours a week, every single week of the year, which obviously mm-hmm. is probably not the case, you're probably making somewhere around 35000 Okay. Yeah, does that feel that's better? Yeah, that's much more around the spot. Then maybe after taxes, like $2,500. Pausing real quick, just to remind you to consider subscribing as we're really trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. Love you. Thanks. Back to the video. Hours a month put into your account? Yes. Which is close to what you said. So, Okay. <laughs> We're, yeah, $2,500 a month mm-hmm. post taxes for that. Now you have an Etsy store. What do you sell? How much do you make? I do digital products. So it's like NFTs. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's like um, calendars or I don't know, you know, like those posters in the houses that are just like words. That's what I sell. Like it's just like be real or be you. And do you have like a store page? Um, not yet i i have it up but i haven't made anything on it Mm, how much are you bringing in on a monthly basis on average so we have up months we have down months level it out across the year what are we looking uh maybe like 200 because i've only started it like a couple of months ago hey well that brings it from 2500 to 2700 so that's great Mm -hmm. This acting thing. You want to be an actor. Mm-hmm. Everyone wants to be an actor. <laughs> How much do you bring Zero. in? Zero. Okay. <laughs> what is this, like a newfound passion? Uh, not newfound, but finally pursuing it. What's up with everyone trying to be an actor and all of a sudden in Texas? Um, I don't know. After the pandemic, like, I told myself oh. I cannot, I cannot just like, I don't know, not pursue it. Maybe it's so, a pandemic somehow. Yeah. All right. So I have a brief structure in my mind of what your financial situation is, but I want to hear from you. What do you think your overall financial situation is? What are you good at? What are you bad at? What does it look like as a whole? Um, I think I'm pretty good at saving, but I eat out a lot. So I think that's probably where my downfall lies. And I like to travel. So those are like big payments like for flight and then apartment or not apartment flight hotel and then like the driving for transportation that takes a lot too so i think eating and travel is where mm. it cuts for me okay you said you go to savings how much is in savings right now because i don't have that one thousand seven hundred okay I was expecting a little more than that, saying you're good at savings. <laughs> okay, yeah. Because, well, I mean, that's not an emergency fund or anything. No. Okay. Well, how long have you... Oh, wait. But you said you're 21. 
Mm-hmm. How long have you been doing like this customer service? Since September of 2022. Okay, so and this is the second of January when we're filming this, so not very long, just mm-hmm. a few months. What were you doing before that? I worked at Academy. I worked at Academy as a inventory specialist. Okay. And are you making more now? Yeah, not sure. Hey, did you go to college? Yes. Did you drop out of college? It's kind of like limbo right now. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, go ahead and walk us to that. Um, I stopped because I'm the one paying for everything, and I don't qualify for financial aid. So. And you didn't want to pay your way through? Um, Where were you going? U of H. Okay, you don't want to pay your way through at what I assume is Houston Community okay. College? Um, I have a associates at Lone Star, so it was finishing like you do. the last two, three years. Okay. And what is, well, I guess we can get into career stuff in general, but what were you going to University of Houston for? First, African-American studies, then I transferred it over to performing arts. Oh, what would you do with African-American studies? Honestly, I don't know. I just really wanted it. That's what I really wanted at the time. It's interesting. It's hard because we do want to make sure as a full, like, well-developed culture that we have a lot of knowledge into different things. And that's, you know, obviously the part of the culture that needs a lot of knowledge, just like every other corner of the culture. Mm -hmm. Getting a job from that is what makes me nervous. Yeah, that's why I switched it over. To theater or arts, which, again, isn't the best... (laughs) known for which is why i stopped because okay partially partially i didn't want to keep paying for it if i didn't like actually like the degree did you not like the degree no i didn't i will say a bachelor degree is better than no degree even if it's one of the lower returning degrees mathematically speaking as of now with studies done still has a return on investment Mm -hmm. because it can get you into a better paying job that just requires a degree and if they're having a hard time hiring people in like a tight job market they will pick someone who doesn't have the necessary degree they're looking for but who has a degree over someone just with nothing so Mm -hmm. there is that but you dropped out essentially when (laughs) um when was the last time I went to school? I think January of 2021. Okay. What are you trying to achieve in life right now? What, what, what are your prospects? Um, To pursue acting, to have my Etsy store, um, more like passive income Okay. with the Etsy store. So you want to build a business on the Etsy store side, mm-hmm. and you want to be essentially an actor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Your own self-business. Yes. Financially, any goals? Well, no. You said you want to be, you want to make sure cash flow on a monthly basis mm-hmm. from not a day job. Mm-hmm. Do you like this customer service job? Not really. No. Yeah. But I told myself I'll stay there as long as I need to. And I'm not sure we have the full picture of your financial situation, but we will look at what we have. Okay. And we'll go from there. And yes, you are correct. You spend a lot of money going out to eat. Oh, dang. <laughs> a lot. Oh, boy. But that necess- isn't necessarily a bad thing. Uh, okay. What do you mean? What I mean by that is if you have a fully established emergency fund, which we know you don't, if you don't have bad debts, which I think you might, <laughs> and you are investing at least 20% of your money, then okay. okay it's fine. You can divvy out some money on some good old fast foods. But I don't think you're in that situation right now. So you started with $70. Ter- scary balance to start a checking account, $70. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, so. But you ended at a better position, $933. Yes. 3362 in, 2499 out. Hmm. Way to save. What is this? Because I don't think I've used this product before. Way to save, because it is your life. Way to save. Um, you deposit some money into Way to Save, and then you constantly just withdraw money from a $60, $100, $35, $60, $50, $30, $20, $100. <laughs> I, I don't... I think that's my savings account. So is, your, is money going automatically into your savings, and then you take that out to your checking to survive? 
Uh, yes. Okay. Reverse. We need to reverse that. <laughs> money goes into savings and then it just sits there. We don't put money into savings and then take it out to survive. Oh. It's a hard way to budget that way. Do you budget? Do you have a budget? I do, but I don't follow it. Well, okay. I don't follow my budget for sure. Okay. <laughs> You cash shopping an out, going to family thrift store, Dairy Queen, Apple subscription, Fashionista, Spotify subscription, Chick fil A, Melagonanix, uh, Good Molecules, Ice Rink, Chase Tower Garage in Houston, Hope City something, Chick fil A, Breakdown Services, McDonald's, an Oof. acting thing, Chili's, and some Houston repertoire, and Apple subscription, and La Michu, I can't pronounce words, and Apple That's subscription, food. and Chick fil A, and the bookstore, and Baker's Nissan, something there at Nissan. That's an oil change. <laughs> okay. That's okay. That's good. Shipley's Donuts love Shipley, so I hate being against that right now. And then okay. a Discover e payment of $100. So, not the craziest we've seen, but it's a lot of money going towards yum, yum, Ooh. yum when we're, you know, don't yeah. have things that we need to have. Okay. And then way to pay. Way, or, or way to save. Way to save. Way to save. Way to save. It's just brrr, all throughout here. Just way to save constantly in that $1,000 into way to save from your checking account. So I'm very confused. Money came in here for the payroll, <laughs> and then we put that money in the savings, and then we took out money from the savings in order to survive. So what I do is when I get paid, I put like a massive chunk of my money into my savings so that it's not in my checkings because if it's in my checkings you'll spend it yeah that's what budgets are for right and, and then like i just take it. out when i need it so yeah i don't think that's necessarily a good thing it's not a good thing yeah you also have a credit card mm-hmm. interesting situation of this credit card because Previous balance, zero dollars. What? That is not true. I mean, that's what it says on the statement. Then he made a $200 payment. With then purchases, balance, and transfers. I think it was a transfer that did this. Mm. $3,886 for the $80. $80 interest charge. $80. That's terrifying. And I'm glad that scares you that bang (laughs) because that $80 scares me. I'm scared. I'm terrified. Um... Yeah. When we're bringing in $2,500 a month and almost $100 if it goes to interest. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) And this minimum payment of $120, like this is sucking your money away. And then last statement, balance account ending uh, number, 3623 came in. But then we're not even paying off the full card yet. We're still spending Alta on here, going to Target on here, and <laughs> River Bend liqueur. What are we doing? Um, self-care? Alta, I need to have good skin. Target. You need you need to have like money to survive. <laughs> Target, I'm not sure what I bought there, to be honest. So that's it. <laughs> Survival comes before looking a little pretty for a day. Um, it's not a day. Like I said, I need to have good skin. It builds over time. Well, but I the promote Target one, the Target one. I honestly don't know what I was spending on. I that. support good skin. I support good health. I do not support dropping two hundred dollars when we are not even paying off this deadly credit card balance. It was two hundred dollars. Yes, two hundred dollars. So you didn't even know how much you spent on it. Dang. At a 25.4% interest rate, $80, you do the minimum monthly payments, which I don't think, which I think might be something you're doing, 17 mm-hmm. years, total of $10,303 on this $3,800 is where it would go. Wow. Or you could pay it off in three years by doing 151, which is closer to what you made last month on a minimum monthly payment. It's still uh, $5,421 that you'd be paying. Whoa, what is this credit card balance transfer you did? What were you doing? Well, how'd you get into $3,639 of credit card debt in the first place? Traveling. Traveling. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Ah. And you you open the conversation by saying you're good at saving. <laughs> Yet. I think I am. Maybe, maybe I'm not as good as I thought. So. Well, when we have $3,693 in credit card debt, what's the point of having that money in savings? It's a good point. Because this interest is killing you. This is bad. Oh. 
Now, you were paying your way through school. Are there any student loans you took out at all? Mm -mm. You don't have any student loan debt. Mm -mm. You drove here in a vehicle. Mm -hmm. Is there any debt on the vehicle? Mm -mm. Very good. How'd that happen? I saved up and I bought it. Oh, that's beautiful. What kind of car is it? It's a Nissan Juke. It's a black. Okay. Yes. I don't know anything about that car, but I do know Nissans and some transmissions and expensive. And what year? 2014. How many miles? Right now, it's like 100,000, 108,000. Okay. Should be good for a bit on my minimal car knowledge, but... Mm -hmm. Do you have Credit Karma on your phone? No. What we'll get that? you to download it right now. Okay. Let me... I thought it was... Oh, yeah, not bad. 7.14. Yes. Very, very good. Uh, 21, yeah, so that's great. And it's the credit card balance that would be holding you back. Yeah, credit card usage is 76%, so I just want to make sure you don't have anything else. So, yep, Discover Bank, it's that over 3000 You have a credit limit on here of 4500 so you got to be careful. How long did you build up that credit card debt of traveling? About a year and a half. Dang. Okay. I took, like... Three trips, so. How's it? You have nothing hidden, so that's good. Usually, someone has something hidden, so cool. Mm -hmm. Everyone wants to be an actor, uh, but I want you to be able to pursue your dreams and build mm -hmm. your business as well. Mm -hmm. I don't think you can do that until this credit card balance is gone. Oh, because it's going to continue to build. You're going to miss payments if you don't have things, and it is, it's going to get bad. It's not an insane credit card balance for your income. Not great. Love that you have a paid for a car. Love that you don't have student loans. But this credit card, bad. Mm. $80 a month in interest being squeezed from you. And this is going to grow and grow and grow. And you're going to pay thousands of dollars in extra if you only do these minimum monthly payments, which is what you're doing, essentially. So mm -hmm. how do you feel about that? Um, kind of hurts because I have a trip this year too. <laughs> what well, what is the trip? Uh, but it's not being paid on my credit card. That one. What's it being paid? Uh, I'm I broke it down into monthly payments. So it's a. What do you mean? I broke it down into monthly payments. So, so every month you I financed it. Yes. Well, that wasn't on the. So it didn't require a hard and quick. What like an online. Just tell me. <laughs> tell me about this payment. This hurts. Um, okay, so it's around like 200 each month. For how many months? It's been since like October. You know, and when? May. Well, why? What is this trip? <laughs> it's for my acting. What? You're not even making money. What's the trip? Ah, that's messed up. <laughs> Um, it's basically like I'm showcasing my talents towards to who a list B list and C list companies so I can get signed with an agent. So you're going to LA, I'm assuming. Yes. <laughs> What's the total cost that you have financed? Um, like the total amount. Yeah. Cause $200 a month for stupid amount of months. What was the total? Like 2000. It's an interest free. Thousand. What? What cost two thousand? Um, the hotel. Yeah, the hotel and the flight wasn't as bad as I thought. I found a flight that was like three hundred. Ooh, let's celebrate! Yeah, round trip. Yeah, definitely. But that's because I wait. <laughs> That's because I looked like in October and November. So maybe it was because the price was like much, much When's lower. When's the trip? In June. You're paying $200 a month financing a trip to isn't And then you're showcasing. So how many days are you there? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Five days. Because guess what? LA is not a very walkable city. So you're going to be paying for transportation while you're there. You're going to be paying for food while you're there. Oh, dang. 
I mean, I'm not the only one going, so there's gonna so? be there's gonna be someone is gonna have a car there. So I just have to help pay for gas. That's what they said. Who? Um, I'm going with friends. Who all wanna be actors, actresses, whatever? Yes. How many? Um oh. around like thirty. Thirty of you? Yeah. <laughs> What is this thing? What is this thing? What are you hoping to get out of it, 30 of you? How many people are going to this thing? What is this thing? It's a showcase. So you showcase your talents and, you know, get signed by an agent so that when they have... Yeah, just get signed. So that when they have, like, gigs Everyone's getting out, signed. So that when they have gigs out there, you will have access to audition. Everyone is getting signed. Um, that's the dream. We learned the statistic a couple weeks ago on the show. 0.01% of people who want to make it in acting make it. Mm. Bad odds. Bad odds. Bad odds. I don't listen to the odds, though. That doesn't make sense. Well. Why wouldn't we listen to reality? Because reality is relative to each person. So, (laughs) yeah. That's a nationwide statistic for people who want to make I it in acting. to be a delusion. It was 0.1% optimist. or 0.01%. I don't remember exactly, but it was one of those. It was I one of those two options. I to be a delusional optimist because that is a, that much, better, that that is a much better life than to be. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it is not because you know what's a better life than that? Mm. Not being absolutely broke in your 60s, starving, dying on the Walmart floor in your 80s because you can't afford rent because you never had enough money to buy a house. Listen, that's that's a stretch. That's a What do you mean that's a stretch? If we're not doing ne- necessary sacrifices in any part of our life, we can just say, kick, kick the can down the road. We'll do it then. We'll do it then. We'll do it then. But we're just going to take out debt to travel. We're going to take out all this leverage to do $2,000 to go do a showcase with a billion other people trying to make it an industry where 0.1 or 0.01% of people make it and then we're continuing to take out debt 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 to hopefully make even like a thousand dollars at some point in some kind of gig what do you mean what do you mean i'm that's just, that's like overstated or whatever you said mm, i said it's a stretch a stretch but yeah now, okay well if we're just digging into a deep hole of despair and death how is that a stretch well, well i don't know like I said, I am a delusional optimist. And I don't want to crush anyone's dreams. I would be okay. I would be I would be like, go get it, girl. Let's do this. If you did not have $4,000 in terrible credit card debt, and if you were not financing a $2,000 trip out there, if you had a fully funded emergency fund, if you did not have terrible debt, and you could write a $2,000 check today to do this thing, to go meet your dreams, I would be giving you all the high fives in the world. I'd be cheering you on. I would be writing you letters of recommendation. I don't even know. Whatever can be done. Mm-hmm. But this doesn't make sense. Can you cancel it? Because I would cancel it now, immediately. This doesn't make sense. You don't have the money. No. Definitely not. Everyone gets signed? Every single person there gets signed. Well, not every single person. Okay, well, see, that's how you made it sound. You, you made it sound like we go out there, we get signed. <laughs> how are you going to feel if you drop $2,000 in your finances and there's probably interest on it and all this stuff and you don't even get signed? Mm. See, I choose not to think of those That thoughts. doesn't make sense. You, you have to think about reality. I, again, I don't want to crush anyone's dream. I don't want to just think negative. I know I'm being very negative on this side of the table. That's because the reality is negative right now. But why <laughs> do we not think about the realities of negative? Just not, not allowing ourselves to think, being ignorant, to blissfully ignorant to the entire world. Because I choose to give myself time to give mistakes. Like, I mean, okay, I... okay have more time on my hands to like get it together then i don't like the way you're thinking about this this is very upsetting i agree early ages or early times in life that is when mistakes are more valid and that's when we learn from them but you are allowing yourself you're preemptively excusing your mistakes you're like this is a mistake i'm gonna go do it instead of mistakes happen along the way as we're trying to figure things out you're preemptively choosing mistake Mm. Well, I don't have much to say for that. (laughs) I'm beating into you. 
I'm beating it to you. Let me let me back up for a second. <laughs> Please know that this comes from a place of seeing so many people on the show and in my own life and then being in bad finances myself just, you know, close to a decade ago. I know what this can turn into and I that's where my urgency and fear is. I want you to do so freaking well. I want you to be a success story. I would love for you to become a famous actor. <laughs> the realities of what it takes to get to places we want Require sacrifices that we don't want to take, and I, are you willing to sacrifice anything to have a better financial future? Yeah, I can stop eating out. That's not necessary. No, it's not necessary at all. Okay. That's such. A, do you have any other trips planned? Um. No. After that trip is done, because you can't get out of it now, and try to like... I don't have any other trips planned. That's the only one. You're going to hate this, and you're absolutely not going to do it, but what you definitely should do when you're there is you should go to whatever their version of grocery stores are and make all your food that work well that week while you're there, because <laughs> yeah, you cannot afford... That's what we were going to do. Well, that's what you're going to do. Yeah! No, that's what we were planning to do. Good. So we have someone that is driving... So we're all going to chip in for gas. So that works. And then we were all going to just cook food. So good. So until then, what's your rent? Um, I don't have rent. I live with my parents. How long do you want to do that? Um, so I'm like 23. Okay. 24. So we have a couple years. Well, that helps with things because, Okay. The, 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 the food situation, uh, besides eating out, when you want food, do they have food readily available or do you need to grocery shop for yourself? They have food readily available. Do you have to pay for your own health insurance or are you on their health insurance? I am getting my own health Why? insurance. With Why? My, because they don't have health insurance. Okay. Yeah. Get health insurance. Health insurance is yeah. good. Want to make sure you have health insurance. Okay. That'll ring you I don't. You'll qualify for the yet. affordable health care, so you'll probably be around like three hundred bucks a month for health insurance. Maybe. Okay. Around, if you get something at least slightly halfway decent. Okay. Under the affordable health care, it'd be like five hundred without it with for that plan. I think. Um. Okay. So that'll be like three hundred. Your car insurance. It's two seventy five right now. Month. Mm hmm. Cool. So young. <laughs> That's why. Hmm. Brutal. Okay, so... Well, congratulations. Those are your only bills that exist. Nothing else exists out well, of that for a few months. I have my bill. Yes, 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 yes. But that's... No, no, no. These are your necessities. Ah. So, 300 plus 275... Oh, that's... I don't even know why I have to put that in the calculator... But $575 a month. Awesome. After your Etsy, after your job, we're going to say you have $2,000 left. Woohoo. It's the beginning of January right now as we're doing this. So we're going to talk about what you do this month. This month, yes. that $2,000, guess what? All of it is going to this credit card, meaning there's $1,800 left. Yes, all that. What does that face? What does that face? That's a lot. Yeah. Do you realize how bad this is, though? Oh. Do you not realize how... Is this the American culture? Has that, like, has that sunken into you so much where, like, we just don't believe that even this credit card debt is bad? See... How bad it is? I think credit card debt is bad, but I don't think my credit card debt is that bad. What does that even mean? Do you not understand this interest rate? I actually don't. Can you explain it? This balance, it's being accumulated at this uh, very, oh, it's variable. So as, oh my gosh, if interest, well, interest rates will continue to go up, but not as much. It's going to go even higher. So you're essentially 25% is being charged on that. And that is why you have $80 a month being added to your balance. Oh. And that's really bad. Really bad. 10% interest is considered bad on debt. This is 25% interest. Oh. And it's going to go higher. Oh. And because it's going to go higher, then it's extra an emergency that you are paying this off. That's why we write 
2,000 hours towards it because this is literally stealing money from you and holding you down and holding your credit score back as well if that's something you ever end up caring about. Um. So $2,000. And then February. Again, these are the two payments you do. Your health insurance and your car insurance. So you're eating at home. You're not having a single ounce of fun. You know, you do your... St- Stupid travel payment. So, <laughs> either way, by the after that stupid thing, at the end of February, this credit card would be completely paid off. Not official financial advice. What I would do in your shoes, because I know how deadly this is. You clearly don't, and I wish I could demonstrate that in a <laughs> way. You, this is seriously just terrible. Just like take my word on that about how bad this is. This will hold you back. Okay. Okay. That's why you just do two months. Only, we're talking two months of sacrifice. What is that in the grand scheme of your life? Not much. Hmm. You'll be able to focus. You'll be able to take more risks on the acting thing, more risk on the Etsy thing, if you don't have this credit card debt. Okay. But using the credit card, isn't that... Because what I heard is, like, when you use a credit card, it helps, like, with your credit card score? Yes, well, your credit score, it does. But your utilization is well over the 30% rule. Once it's over 30%, oh. it hurts your credit. 30% of, like, the... Of the credit limit. Oh. And you're well over that. You're well over that. And okay. not to mention... Um, Honestly, I mean, I'm at, I'm like two points under an 800 credit score right now, and I don't hold a single balance. Hmm. I don't hold a single balance. You just pay it off every single month. I don't even know if I'd have credit cards in your shoes, but I don't, is that even worth going into at this point? I don't know if you're a credit card person. No, that's my only credit card. No, I know, but you carrying this balance, you're demonstrating that you're not responsible enough to have a credit card. What? what do you mean? What do you mean? What what possibly even is that reaction? You have three thousand eight hundred. You're letting eighty dollars go away, and you think you're responsible enough to have credit cards? <sighs> Dang. Well, I keep thinking me roasting you is almost done, and then you just give me another <laughs> reason to roast you. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Okay. Anything so. and everything I say here, even if like coming across as rude, it's because I want what is best. I want you to succeed. It does not succeed like this. Okay. okay. It, it's as simple as that. So by the end of February, if I were in your shoes, that would be paid off. And then I'd okay. probably put an extra $500 aside for this trip because you're going to go out to eat. I know for a fact something's going to happen. <laughs> you're in L.A., you know, big vacation spot. You're going to go out to eat. I don't want you to yes. put a single cent of that on a credit card. So you're going to have some money set aside. Okay. Okay. Also, save this emergency fund. For your situation, maybe just like $7,000 saved up. Just put that aside. And you should do that as quick as possible. As quick as possible. I would sacrifice personally not going out to eat and not having fun to get that because I know how important it is to have an emergency fund. But either way. I would do that. I would try to have that $7,000 saved up by the time you go in June. And that's in your savings. And then savings is never touched. We don't touch that. Oh. You don't have money going into savings and out of savings. That $7,000 just sits there. Forget it exists. Manage everything through a strict budget at that point. Once you have those necessities taken care of, you create a budget. You can follow the 50-30-20 rule where 50% of your income goes to your needs to survive. 30% goes to your wants. That's a lot of wants. And 20% will now go, congratulations, to investing because you will start that point of your life. Because right now are the best years of your life for compound interest, meaning it's the best years of your life to put money into the stock market that will have a retirement fund by the time you retire. Um, but you're not even close to that point yet. Well, okay. Okay. So what are your thoughts on all that? Because I know that is a lot. <laughs> um, I didn't yeah. think it was that bad. Um, since it's only one credit card, because like, I've heard people have like three or four credit cards and they're like, in fifty thousand dollars in credit debt, hundred thousand dollars in credit debt, and yes. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm only like three thousand dollars in credit debt. No, it's true, and murdering five people is better than murdering one person. But whoa, that doesn't mean <laughs> that the one person's still bad. Extreme, extreme case. Very, very. Okay. But hopefully that at least. <laughs> 
<laughs> helps level out understanding what this means. Yes, I've personally had on the show plenty of people who are in worse credit card debt than you. That being said, you don't make a ton of money, which also hurts. Okay. Because, uh, you know, the deeper hole you get into relative to your income, the harder it is to pull out. Uh, where if someone does get into $50,000 of credit card debt, but they make $150,000 a year, you know, there's, there's ratios, right? Mm-hmm. And that's still absolutely horrible. But so... $4,000 of credit card debt on your situation. I mean, we just talked about it. With your living situation, you paid off in two months. Are you actually going to do that? Um, I think I'd stretch it to like four. Why? Because I have payments that I do. Like, I have I have my insurance. And then... Which we put you, into it. You saw on there that there's like an acting. So I financed that. And I only have one more month... Of my acting class. Acting class? So you're yeah. going to a... You're, you're financing a stupid <laughs> thing out in L.A. when you're not even done with acting classes. You don't even... Oh, my gosh. Stop it. Well... You didn't even finish the educational portion of the career you want to do before you're dropping all these dineros on... St- oh, my gosh. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I only have one more payment on that. Payment. So. How much was that? 600 And this acting thing that you're financing mm-hmm. on a monthly basis. How long? How much? What even is it? Which one? The showcase or the... Not the not the class. Not the class, but yeah. the showcase. Sure. No, yeah. no, 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 no. You said there's an... Or yeah. You said, or what, that was just the showcase there's, that you were mentioning? two, so it's the showcase and, and the then education. there's an acting okay, class. Okay, cool. I thought there was a third thing. I no. there for a second. No. Well, I'm glad that acting class is almost done. No more doing that. Don't pay for something unless you can afford to pay for it. And you can't afford to pay for it because you have $4,000 in credit card debt and you don't have an emergency fund. So you can't afford to pay for anything. Mm. But okay. if you ever buy things in the future, you're buying it with cash after you have a fully funded emergency fund. Mm. I thought cash has lost its value. Hasn't it? What, what, what? No, you're what? No, no, no. You're buying things in cash. Oh, okay. Yes, your emergency fund will go down in value because it's not invested in the marketplace. But that's okay. That's why it's not a huge amount. That's why we do six percent or six months of our life, like what's needed to survive. And I'm guessing six to seven, maybe even five thousand dollars for you. When you have a rent, you'll probably want to move that up to like ten, twelve thousand. But in your current situation, it's not extreme. Okay. My fear is the car. I don't. Uh, I don't think there's anything to fear there. Mm-hmm. But I want to have an emergency fund that's necessary to get you into a car without having to go into debt if something really bad were to happen. Okay. So that's where I'm a little struggling because, yeah, what's needed to survive right now is like nothing. That's why I think you paid off in two. Uh, I, I calculated those payments into here. Except for this acting class payment, but that's only one month. I still don't see how that affects yeah, it'll being be this done, off. It'll be done by this month. I don't see how, and it's, you said it was 800 total? 600. 600, yeah. I don't see how that being financed with whatever minimum monthly payment that is stretches this from two to four months. Let me, let me even think, what do I pay for monthly? <laughs> okay, there's insurance, and then there's, yeah, it was, I think that's, this is what we need things. budgets for. My acting class. I, I can't think of anything right now. <laughs> you have no idea how much I want you to be a successful actor. I don't. I, I haven't seen you act. I don't know how good you are, but I want you to do well. I think I'm pretty you good. Cannot get, you cannot do the sacrifices necessary to go into that while you have such bad debt and you don't have an emergency fund. You have nothing to fall back on. Mm. It's even worse because of the debt. Do you understand that? Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. If that is cleaned up, I'm like, go for it. Hustle. Mm -hmm. Get it. Low percentage odds? Sure. Would I rather you make more money and invest? Sure. But I still want to cheer on dreams. I think there's smart ways to go about it. And we we can go into that at a different time in terms of making sure you're working, meeting these certain obligations while you're trying to hustle and act. But Mm -hmm. that's a separate conversation because... We're far from there. We got to take care of this first. I would cancel that trip. You can't cancel that trip. You wouldn't cancel that trip anyway. I'm not canceling that trip. No. No. Makes no mathematical sense, but. Nope. Okay.
okay, so we can clear that within two months. Then what? So work on like the emergency fund next? Yeah, I would say about five, six, seven thousand dollars and I'd also make sure you have an extra five hundred dollars aside for this LA trip. Okay. Because I just don't want you to go into more credit card debt when you're there. That can be done. That can definitely be done because your living expenses are minimal. Very minimal. Yeah. Yeah. Thankfully. But can you cut back? That's the question. Um food wise, yes. I think I usually eat out of <laughs> I usually eat like out of emotional sadness so <laughs> that it can be cut so do we have therapy we did but um, better help is too expensive it is your insurance will help with this not better help oh. personally but it'll get someone in the Houston area Oh, I uh, didn't know that. No, that'd be great. I mean, it'll still cost you money, but insurance will help. Yeah. I always tell anyone and everyone with this channel, mental health, incredibly important, just like physical health. So mm -hmm. I highly recommend therapy. doesn't matter if anyone has anything going on in their life. Therapy is just great. It helps you just process life and mm -hmm. just be better about life and approach it in a better way, in a healthy way. So that's why, yeah, I would highly recommend that. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm a little nervous for your situation, though. I want to <laughs> see. I want to see you sacrifice. I want to. I want to text you in three months, and this is done, and you're saving up for this emergency fund. I'm just so skeptical if we're gonna get there, but I will let you have the final word. <laughs> I think I can get there. So, yeah. Terrible interest on a credit card that she's not willing to pay off and financing things for all the acting and traveling out to LA. It's crazy. Uh, but paid for a car and some money saved up, not an emergency fund. Probably Hammer Financial Score 2 out of 10. Make sure to check out all the fun links in the description below and follow me on all the socials and subscribe. Thanks.